everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet our country cotton scarf. Now, this pattern was originally written for the guys, and so I called it the men's country cotton scarf, but the ladies like it too. It's a really interesting pattern because usually a scarf pattern is stitched across in rows short way. Well, we're going to be stitching in the length, and so it stitches up super fast. It's super pretty to wear, and I think both the girls and the guys will like this pattern. Now, you can find this free crochet pattern on my blog, and as usual, I'll put that link down in the notes underneath this video. To make our country cotton scarf, you're going to need about three ounces of a medium weight number four cotton. The cotton that I used and I'm going to use for my swatch today for our demonstration is called Coastal Cotton. It's by Loops and Threads and the color is just blue. I think it resembles a stonewashed pair of denim jeans from the 80s and I really like it. <laughs> Some other good options are your Symphonia cotton. Also, I love this cotton is a nice cotton for this. You can use any of your cottons, and if you wanted to, you could use your leftovers and come up with a really interesting striped scarf. The main thing is it needs to be a softer cotton. If you use your cottons that are stiffer, you're going to end up with a little bit stiffer of a scarf, and then it's not going to be comfortable to wear. So keep that in mind when you're picking out your cottons. Now, because this is stitched with a medium number four weight yarn, you can make this with your acrylic or wool or blend yarns as well. As long as it's a medium number four, you can use that yarn for this scarf. It does not have to be a cotton scarf. I wanted to use the cotton because I wanted it to be a little bit cooler for springtime and also cool evenings here in the summer, you might want to wrap a scarf around your neck. And also, <clears throat> you're going to need about three ounces. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook. The H hook is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle just to weave in ends, and of course, you'll need your scissors. The scarf measures about four inches across, and the length is about 62 inches long. And you can easily adjust the length by your multiples. Your multiples are four chains plus 10 chains. So you want to stitch in multiples of four and then add 10 additional chains for the length. And remember, this pattern is stitched lengthwise, not across. All right. And if you want to make it even wider, you can just add more rows. And I think, let's see, let me look at my notes. One inch equals approximately two rows. All right. And if you want to make your scarf wider across the middle, then you'll just repeat these middle rows before you add the trim. What you're going to need to do to begin our scarf is you're going to need to stitch 186 foundation double crochet stitches. If you don't want to do those 186 foundation double crochet stitches, you need to stitch 188 chains and then place your first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and stitch a row of double crochets. That's just an optional start. Make sure you have 186 double crochets for row one. Now, I'm not going to be stitching out the whole scarf. I'm going to be doing what's called a swatch. And my swatch is going to be 21 foundation double crochets. All right. But remember, you need 186 foundation double crochets. We're going to begin with our slip knot. We're going to chain four. Yarn over, go in the fourth chain from the hook, and pull up a loop. 
you're going to yarn over and only pull through that first loop. That's the chain of our foundation double crochet. Then you'll yarn over, go through the next two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops. So we made a chain and a double crochet. That's your foundation double crochet. We're going to yarn over, go in that chain that we made, pull up a loop, yarn over, only go through the first one, yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over and go through the next two. That is how you stitch a foundation double crochet. And because we're making our scarf lengthwise instead of widthwise, we're going to have 186 foundation double crochets. Now again, I'm just making a swatch to show you how to do all the stitches in the scarf. And of course, we'll be referring back to the scarf throughout the video. Something that you can do to keep track of your foundation double crochets is to use some stitch markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me stitch three more. There's eight. Move those out of the way. Nine. And this one will be 10. Okay, so then I'll take one of my stitch markers and I'll just go ahead and mark that stitch. Then I won't have to recount that as I'm going and then I can do my next ones. And when I'm doing a really long one, like 186 foundation double crochets or chains or a beginning stitch, um, if it's really long, like 186, I might mark it every 20 stitches instead of every 10. One, two, three, four. Here's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And this one will be ten or because I'm doing my second 10, it is 20. And so then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take this stitch marker and mark the 20th stitch. There we go. And now I know that I've got 20 foundation double crochets stitched. And then I'll do that again. I'll, and I'll use a new stitch marker and mark the next 20. All right, now for my swatch, I'm only doing 21 foundation double crochets. You need to have a total of 186 foundation double crochets, or if you chose to chain and then have 186 double crochets on your chain. Both ways work fine. I just prefer the foundation double crochet when I'm doing a long row. It helps me count but it also helps your scarf have a little bit more stretch to it. All right, so you need to stitch 186 foundation double crochets. Once you've completed your row of 186 foundation double crochets, and again, I'm just doing a swatch of 21, you're going to chain one and turn. And row two, we're going to be stitching a row of half double crochets. So yarn over, 
go in that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three of those loops. And so you're going to just stitch one half double crochet in each of those foundation double crochets across. one half double crochet in each stitch across. Once you've completed your row of half double crochets, we're going to chain three and turn. And you'll have the same number of half double crochets as you did your foundation double crochet row. Now our chain three here counts as our first double crochet on row three. So we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. We'll double crochet in the next and one more double crochet in the next. So we'll have four double crochets here at the beginning. Our chain three will count as our first and then we stitched one in the next three. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch and stitch one double crochet in the next three. One, two, three. And this is our repeat across. You're going to chain one, you're going to skip one, and then you'll double crochet in the next three. One, two, Three. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next three. And you'll repeat this working all the way across that row. You've got four at the beginning, chain one, skip one, one double crochet in the next three. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet in the next three. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet in the next three, and you'll repeat this all the way across your row until you have five stitches left. When you get to the end, you're going to chain one, of course, and skip the next one, and then you'll stitch one double crochet in those last four double crochets, or last four half double crochets. And chain three. So repeat, chain one, skip one, three double crochets across, then when you get to the end, you'll chain one, skip one, and place one double crochet in those last four stitches. We chained three and turn. And again, you're going to have a lot more repeats in the center here because remember, it's the length of our scarf. And let me show you again just to make sure that you understand we're stitching the length of the scarf. This is just a swatch to show you the stitches. All right, so what we're going to do for row four, our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in those three stitches. One, two, three. We're going to chain one. We'll skip that chain. We'll stitch a double crochet in the first double crochet. And then we're going to stitch a front post double crochet in that center of those three. So we'll go around the front post and stitch our double crochet. Then we'll stitch a double crochet in the next of those three. All right, and that's the way the repeat will work for row four. 
chain one, we're going to skip the chain, double crochet in the first double crochet, front post double crochet in the next one, and double crochet in the third of those three. Chain one, skip one, and repeat. And you'll repeat this all the way across your row. And when you get to the end of that row, you'll chain one, skip that chain, and then double crochet in those four double crochets. And chain three. All right, and that is the way that row forward look. And again, you're going to have a whole bunch more of these down the center of your scarf. So now we're ready for our next row. We've stitched our chain three. We're going to turn, double crochet in those three double crochets. One, two, and three. And our chain three counted as one, so we have four double crochets. Chain one, we're going to double crochet in that first double crochet. But now we're going to do what's called back post double crochet. So we'll yarn over, we're going to go around the back post of that next stitch and stitch a double crochet. And then we'll stitch a double crochet in that third double crochet of those three. All right, and so the reason we did that is that way it keeps the line on the front. All right, and because we're working this direction on the back from the back side, that is called a back post double crochet. All right, so we'll stitch a double crochet in the next double crochet, yarn over. We're going to go around the back post of that next stitch and stitch our double crochet and then we'll stitch a double crochet in the next double crochet and chain one. And that's our repeat for this row. Chain one, skip that chain, double crochet in the next, back post double crochet in the next, and then double crochet in the next, chain one, and repeat that all the way across then when you get to the end of your row, chain one and one double crochet in those four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And chain three. All right, so this is actually the back. And then when we chain three and turn, we have that line that looks like a solid row of front post stitches. All right, let me pull this back over here so you can see. Here's our line on each one of those rows. Okay, now for row six, we're just going to repeat what we did down here. Our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in the next three double crochets because our chain three counts is our first and we want four there at the beginning. Chain one, double crochet in the double crochet. Front post double crochet in the next and double crochet in the next and chain one. All right, and then you'll repeat that working all the way down this row. Double crochet, front post, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, skip that chain and double crochet, front post, double crochet, and double crochet in the next, 
chain one. And so again, we're going to repeat that all the way down, just like I showed you on here, so that we have that row in the center. And we'll repeat this all the way down the length of our scarf. And then when we get to the end, we'll have our chain one and one double crochet in those last four stitches. And again, you can see where those front post stitches made a nice little texture line and it will go all the way down the length of your scarf. And now we're just going to chain one at the end of this row. So now we've completed the center section of our scarf. If you want your scarf to be wider, you can repeat these rows two or three or four or five more times if you want to, to make your scarf wider. The intention of this scarf is for it to just be a thin scarf, but if you prefer a wider scarf, it's super easy to adjust. All right, so since we're finished with the center section, we chained one and turn. And what we're going to do now is we're going to place a half double crochet in each stitch and in each chain one. All right, so yarn over, go in the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three of those loops. All right, so we're placing a half double crochet in the double crochets. We're going to place a half double crochet in this chain one space, and then a half double crochet in these three stitches. half double crochet in the chain one space, half double crochet in the three stitches, and half double crochet in the chain three space. And that's our repeat for this row. Row seven, we're just stitching one half double crochet in each stitch and each chain one space, working all the way across our row. And then when we get to the end, we'll place one half double crochet in each of those four double crochets at the end of our row. And chain three. And again, let me show you on here. Here's our row of half double crochets. And we'll stitch this all the way across that row. We chained three and turned, and this brings us to our last row, and it's just a row of double crochets. Now our chain three does count as our double crochet, so we're going to double crochet in the next stitch, and then we'll just stitch one double crochet in each of those half double crochets across. And that way it matches this side. We have a row of double crochet, a row of half double crochet, then we have our open section where we did our front and back posts and then when it's the width that we want we do a row of half double crochets and finish off with a row of double crochets and that makes a nice nice scarf And once you've completed that row of double crochets across, just cut your yarn and tie off. It's that simple. Cut, tie off, and weave in your end. And so this is how the completed scarf looks. You have your row of double crochets where we started our foundation double crochets. 
we have a row of half double crochets. Then we have this center section where we did our front and back posts. Then we finished with our half double crochet and then a row of double crochet. And it makes a lovely, lovely scarf. And it's not too fancy that the men won't like it, but it's just fancy enough that the ladies will love it also. And remember, you can make it as wide as you want to, and you can make it as long as you want to. Now, I don't put a trim on this scarf. If you prefer to have a trim on it, you can always do a row of single crochet working all the way around all the sides if you want to. I personally just don't think it needs any extra trim. The ends lay nicely because we have those four double crochets at the ends. Thank you.